So we're here to discuss the LR3 Plus study. This is a study of a new treatment approach for patients with genotype 3, hepatitis C and advanced liver disease. So genotype 3 is the second most common genotype of hepatitis C and as the new treatments for hepatitis C are developing it's emerging as a harder to cure genotype. So whilst we've just seen abstracts presented today for genotype 1 hepatitis C infection with cure rates in over um, 400 patients of 99%, uh, in genotype 3 cure rates have been lower and particularly in patients with advanced liver fibrosis. So in patients with cirrhosis um, who have previously failed interferon treatment, the bench benchmark treatment response rates at the moment are about 70%, which is a lot lower than the 95% uh, plus we expect for, for genotype 1. So the aim of this study was to develop an optimised treatment regimen for gen genotype 3 patients who have advanced liver fibrosis. The different viral genotypes are quite different from a structural perspective um, and the new treatments for hepatitis C were specifically designed for genotype 1 initially and it's taken a little while to tweak them to, to work very well for genotype 3. There were 50 patients who were randomised to the combination of cefosbuvir plus decladesvir plus ribavirin for 12 or 16 weeks total duration. What's particularly new about this treatment approach is the combination of sofosbuvir and decladesvir with ribavirin. So previous data has shown that sofosbuvir plus decladesvir for 12 weeks is very good treatment for genotype 3 patients who don't have advanced fibrosis, but advanced fibrosis and cirrhosis were an Achilles heel really of all regimens. And so what we were testing is whether the addition of ribavirin boosted cure rates up to the 90% mark that we're really aiming for. So the overall cure rate in the study was uh, a cure rate of 90%. Um, the uh, response rate in patients with advanced fibrosis or F3 fibrosis uh, was 100%. And in patients with cirrhosis, the hardest to cure population, the cure rate was 86%. Treatment was very well tolerated. Uh, there was no difference between you know, overall response rates comparing 12 versus 16 weeks of treatment. So I think uh, this study really establishes 12 weeks of sofosbuvir plus uh, decladesvir plus ribavirin um, as a standard of care treatment for genotype 3 patients with advanced fibrosis. The overall cure rate is 90%, which means that 10% of patients uh, weren't cured. Um, and look, they were all relapses. So that the nature of this regimen is that everyone suppresses on treatment. But there's a small number of patients who post-treatment relapse. A small number of patients who relapse will then need a salvage treatment. And there's further studies we'll explore how we treat these, um, these DEA failure patients. So it's a terrific benefit for the patient. Um, it uh, improves their quality of life, it prevents transmission, but most importantly it prevents them developing cirrhosis, prevents liver failure, prevents liver cancer. Compared to interferon containing treatments where um, I mean one of the big steps forwards is that these new treatments work so much better than the old treatments that involved interferon. But the other really significant thing is that now everyone's a candidate for treatment. Whereas with interferon, we would treat, you know, of patients who got to clinic, and um, interferon scared a lot of people away from clinic, but of pe people who got to clinic, we'd treat maybe 40%. Whereas now we treat everybody. So not only are the cure rates much higher, but we're treating twice as many people. And, and we aim to treat exponentially more people. The next step for, for, this, uh, for the treatment of genotype 3 hepatitis C will be to develop an optimised regimen that doesn't have ribavirin. Um, that's likely to be a year or two away in most parts of the world. Uh, and then also to develop salvage strategies for the small number of patients who, um, who are not cured. At the moment this is a, a terrific step forwards for these very hard, hard to cure subset of genotype 3 patients. We've seen results presented at this meeting from other studies where we see very high cure rates in other genotypes. So, so we, we're getting very close to the, the point of having very effective treatment for every patient with hepatitis C. There are second and third generation combination treatment regimens being developed, but um, we're starting to fiddle at the edges. So we've got very good treatment regimens now and, it's, um, and the future challenges are to simplify a bit, to um, have one regimen that treated different, re different types of hepatitis C, so you don't have to have different sort of treatment strategies for different patients, you just have a common treatment strategy, um, but we'll get there. And, and so the conversation now is starting to move from how do we cure a patient with hepatitis C to how do we completely eradicate hepatitis C from around the world. And, and that's a really exciting conversation.